And like I, at that point, you were going absolutely nuts on edits. You would like put an edit up, take it down same day, put another one up at nighttime. Wait, you noticed that? Oh, dude, of course. I, <laughs> I was paying attention to everything. I still that. do that. I know. <laughs> Well, 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 welcome back to the Verse Podcast. Today we got two special, special guests, uh, two of my closest boys in my life right now, and uh, it is Julian DeRosas and Matt, what's your last name? You don't even know my last name? I'm just joking, (laughs) Messick. I'm just kidding. (laughs) And I'm your host, Aaron Vaughn. So yeah, let's get into it, man. It's good to see you guys. Matt's in town from... uh, Florida right now. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what part of Florida are you living in right now? Right now, Orlando. <clears throat> and how long you been living there? Uh, I'd say seven months. Yeah, seven okay. months. Seven <clears throat> months. And how are you liking it? I love it down there. It's awesome. Weather wise, it's a beast. Oh yeah. You've been down there for the winter time though. You really haven't had like the the summer summer time. I moved down there in August, <clears throat> and that was brutal. Yeah. I'm so sure. I, I'm not even ready for. June, July. Bro, it's going to be hot as fuck out there. Yeah, yeah. You're about to be rough. We'll see how you really feel here in the next, like, three, three and a half months. Oh, it's going to be brutal. Yeah, man. Julian, my guy. What's up, bro? How you feeling, baby? <laughs> Anxious as fuck. <laughs> nah, it'll be good, man. It'll be good. We're just we're just chopping it up, catching up. So, um, <clears throat> Julian, you've been skating a really long time, and you're you're young, so it's pretty impressive that you've... You're going on what? Not two decades, but close. You're close. Wait, I brought some notes with me. <laughs> Hold on. Sixteen years. Sixteen years. Skating on and off. And you're how old? Twenty four. Okay. Matt, how old are you? Twenty. Twenty. And Matt, how long have you been skating? Uh say about. Consistently. Consistently? <clears throat> For four years? About four years? Yeah, four years. Wait, really? Yeah. That's fair. Oh. That's fair. I mean, yeah, you really came back into it, like, I'd say, what, 2020-ish, roughly? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, because I had sports in, like, high school. I was doing cross country and stuff, so. You were a runner. I forgot. Yeah. We talk about that sometimes. Yeah. And so, <clears throat> Julian, you grew up, I mean, you both grew up kind of south side. You grew up, like, southeast, correct? Yeah. Franklin Township. Franklin southeast Town. side of Indianapolis. Yeah. Julian. Greenwood. Greenwood, Southsider yeah. forever. It's crazy. Um, so then you guys didn't grow up skating together at all. You guys didn't know each other when you were younger, younger, no? No. 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 Not at all. When did you guys meet? Because you guys are like two peas in a two peas in a pod now. Hold so. on. When, I, I'm when, trying to think. <clears throat> I don't want to say when I feel like I knew Matt before minus Greenwood. Okay. I would just see him in passing. For sure, definitely. But I I really I don't, don't know. Yeah. I think I guess we started hanging out like that in like twenty <laughs> two, twenty twenty two. Well, okay, so when you brought me up on the shop like yeah. at Greenwood, Matt was coming along quite a bit. Yeah. And I was just trying to get business from him. <laughs> that, oh, yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Julian was money hungry. Yeah, bro. <laughs> but I remember you were coming into minus caramel. Yeah. Before Minus Greenwood, right? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and then Minus Greenwood came around, and then you would come in and, like, kick it, kick it. And we were working every day for, like, the first, like, year pretty much. I felt like you had a couple days off and during the week, but I remember you coming in and chopping it up. And I was like, I like this kid, man. He's respectful. You know, you're, you're stand up, you're stand-up guy. It. Yeah. I, I can't it. call you a kid anymore. You're a young man. You're about to be 21 here soon, so. Yeah. Bro, <clears throat> I still feel like a kid. Me too. I mean, I just, that doesn't go away. I feel yeah. like that doesn't nah. really go away ever. So then, uh, Julian, you started skating at, so that makes you what? S- if you're 16 years, you started at like eight, nine? Yeah, I was like eight or nine years old. Which is r- relatively younger than most people. Most people start at like 10, 11, 12. I didn't start till I was like 11, 12. So, mm-hmm. um, so you were like the typical, you were in the suburbs, yeah? Yeah, you, suburb skating. You were suburb skating. Driveway. Like the Tony Hawk pro skater, like with the kid on the front, like with the flat bar doing a board side suburb. Oh, yeah, meme. for sure. That bro. was you. Yeah. You had yeah, the, the element bar. Yeah, the, yeah. the element bar. <laughs> the well, element flat rail. I actually had like a blue like flat bar. It was like probably like 
five inches off the ground. It was like the Dick Sporting Goods, yeah, little shitty like square one. one. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I grew up. One of the episodes further back, I think I was talking with somebody. I think it was Austin and Ethan. And I like grew up skating like the little Dick Sporting Good kink. It was like the top one, and then it would like go down. It was like a flat bar, but it was like still a little baby kink. It was super shitty. Is that the oh. one you learned back lips on? Everything. Feebles. I like cheated, but like learning feebles and Smiths and blunts and lip sides. I'd like go straight at it just to get the board to maneuver the way it needed to to get in the tricks. Oh, yeah. 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 But I used a small part. I didn't have the tall part because I, I could barely ollie that high. So, <clears throat> And then, um, so you started skating. What was your age? I got my first board when I was in fifth grade. Okay. It was my, like my first real board, not like a Walmart board or anything like that. It was mm-hmm. the first real board. I got it in fifth grade, like for Christmas. And then after that, it was just like on and off with sports and stuff. Yeah. But, but you were still kind of skating in between? Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, so yeah, it when it was like off season, I'd skate and then I'd go into track conditioning. It's like little kid shit. You're yeah. like into so many different things. You can't really focus in on one thing because your parents want you to try everything to yeah. see what you like at that age. Football, baseball, basketball, like everything. Yeah, yeah. So then you stuck consistently through skating the whole time. You never really took a break. I didn't know you much when you were younger, so. Fuck sports. Okay, so yeah, he was strictly skateboarding. <laughs> <laughs> and then you were doing that and then so when did you actually like seriously take back into skateboarding like fully my junior year of high school because that's that was my last season of cross country after that it was like fully skating yes. i didn't do any sports that's pretty late yeah <clears throat> that's uh, 17 16 so i was 17 yeah. was junior junior yeah. yeah so that was year 17 wow yeah so i mean you've been doing it for a little bit and you've like progressed a ton in the last couple of years. I feel like the older you get, you just naturally progress yeah. and you put in the time. I mean, now that you're down in Florida, I feel like you got a full time job. You're going to school. You got so much of you're exploring Florida. So oh, yeah. skating is like in there, but you're filling it in there when you can. Yeah. yeah. Like on my days off, I try to at least skate out front, like yeah. some flat ground or something. For sure. For sure. Well, Julian, I think the first time I ever saw you. Oh, God. <laughs> uh,. Man, I had heard of you in like 2000 and like 12, 13. It's been over 10 years. From who? I think I just saw you like when Instagram, like Instagram randomly at first. Cause I don't think I, I never went down to Greenwood Park until like way late. So I saw you. Wait, you said 2012? I'd say 13 to be safe. Okay. So it's probably like 11 years ago, 10, 11 years ago, I saw you. And, um, uh, I don't know where I saw you. I think you came to LP. You definitely came to LP when you were younger. Yeah. So I saw you at LP. It was very vague. Like vague. Um, and then I didn't really see you much after that in person, but I saw you on Instagram a ton. Became an Instagram skater there for a while. I'm still an Instagram <laughs> skater, bro. I'll admit it. <laughs> that's your generation, though. That's yeah, your, I mean, it's generation. just our generation. Like. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. But, yeah, I mean, like, there for a while, you were doing, like, the edits daily. Like, bro, I was, like, inspired there. by, like, all the, like, the L.A. edits. Yeah. Doing, like, the trap edits the trap especially, edits, bro. Yeah. Like, the, the, the cardio the edits. The plug. The plug. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, smoke perp. Like, you remember oh, smoke perp? Like, yeah, I remember him. That yeah. was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I remember you from then, and then... I feel like I didn't really fully take notice until <clears throat> that was 2000. I went to the Southside Shakedown. Shout out Derek and Tim. everybody else. Tim, yeah, all the legends that are doing that shit on the Southside. They've been holding it down for forever. So sick. Uh, that was 2000, and I had blonde hair at that point. I think that was 2017 or 18. I had a little blonde hair. Oh, yeah. shit. I remember because I, I came to the park – because I was I was working at Rise at that point, so that was 2017 for sure, 18, and I brought product on behalf of the shop, and I remember going down to the South Side. That was like one of the first times I'd ever been in Greenwood. You're like, what the fuck? I was like, dude, I don't. And it was nighttime after the shop closed. I was like, I don't know where the fuck I am. <laughs> Finally found the park. It's like behind the neighborhood, you know, mm-hmm. park drive or whatever. Yep. And then I got there, saw everybody there, took Derek all the product, and I saw you. And I think it was Alex Molina. Yeah, shout out Alex. Shout out mm-hmm. Alex. A M. Yes, and then. I think I said what up to you or you said what's up to me. And then like that was the first time I was like, ah, okay, like timestamp Julian. I remember you fully. And then, yeah, from there, I was like Instagram and everything else from that point. And then Matt, I don't think I really noticed you until 2000. You came in 2019 to the shop, didn't you? Or 2020? I came you were into, still in high school. Yeah. I came into the shop 2019. 
2019. Yeah. I, yeah. I came into the shop when it was still Rise, right before you made the switch over to Minus. Okay. So it I was like 2018, late 2018. Damn, forgive me. I do not remember that. <laughs> I, you weren't working, though. It was some other guy. Was it Justin? No, it wasn't Justin. No, you would know if it was Justin. Yeah. It could have been Scott then, maybe. No, Scott. Cool. It was a young guy. Justin. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was not Justin. I was the. You know, I was working full time. Oh no! It was like I November don't. 2018. I, uh, yeah, the only other people it would be would be Austin, Justin, or John. Those are the only other three. And and Scott worked there at that point. It might have been. I don't know who Austin. <clears throat> but it might have been Austin. Yeah, it's probably Austin because he worked weekends. What about Tim? No. 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 Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, it's been some time. It's been like five, six years now. But yeah, I took notice to you. You started coming in the shop. <clears throat> and then um, really where I took notice to you was in Greenwood when we started that shop. We started Minus Greenwood, what, 2021? Um, and that was a couple years into having Carmel shop. And then you would come in and like kick it, like I was saying. And it was cool, man. I was, I was hyped to finally get to know you a little bit more. And that's when I kind of noticed. Oh, I was like, yeah. the, Greenwood, the Greenwood spot was like perfect because it was like five, ten minutes away from the park. Yeah. Place. So I'd like go over yeah, to the park. Yeah. yeah. But honestly, like shop. getting into the shop, like oh my gosh, getting out of there. Line. Oh, it was horrible. County yeah, Line's like it, the worst road in Indianapolis. If you had to turn left, you hours. Yeah. Except if we, when we closed the shop, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. But like getting into there, or like if you left for lunch or something like that, it was horrible. But we'll we'll get to that. We'll get to the we'll get to the Greenwood shop. Um. So then, did you guys film anything outside of like social media growing up, skateboard wise? I did like a like little homies edit just from like footage I had. <laughs> it was like skateboarding, us like going on trips, just random stuff. Was it like VX or some sort of like DVX or anything like that? No. Or just iPhone stuff more so? No, it was like an actual camera. Okay. Um, but it just, it, I just put it on YouTube. I was like, eh, whatever. Yeah, sick. Julian? Uh, if you remember trench tapes, trench tapes, yeah, Damn. bro, yeah, shout out Caleb Arkins, Corey Romo, Ooh. Alex Molina, yeah, that was like your generation yeah. of Southsiders for that sure. That was like the only people I was really skating with for like three years. So then, was that DVD? Was that at Rise? No, so we actually premiered it at Minus. <laughs> um, oh, okay, and it was like a really shitty day, like it was like snowing. Winter time. Yeah, it was like winter time. Mm -hmm. And like Nick asked me, like, dude, do you want to do this like on a different day? And we're like, no, we're doing it today. Yeah. Like we said. You're stoked. Yeah, we were stoked. But it was like a 12 minute video. Damn, that's sick. But like in my mind, like I thought it was like going to be longer. It like the 12 minutes felt like 30 minutes. Well, also because you're in the midst of like filming and you know every single clip and exactly. how much time it took to do the clips and everything. So how old were you then when you guys filmed trench tapes? I was like 17 or 18. Okay. Pretty sure. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So the time flies, bro. He was a kid. Yeah, bro. That's like my only video part too. Really? Yeah. It's like only like a minute 30. I don't even think it's more than two minutes. Bro hates the streets. Yeah, I hate the streets. <laughs> Instagram skater, park skater. So then, I love after, the streets. Yeah, you love the streets. After that, did you do any sort of video projects before we started filming for stuff here? Nope. Really? Yeah, bro. Strictly IG, shit. Yeah, strictly IG. That's wild. I mean, like, me and my friends would like film for like YouTube, like YouTube edits, but like mm -hmm. nothing in the, on the level of like a, no. a formatted video. No, we were just kind of like like. We'd put, like, our own sections, like, me skating and then, like, Alex or, like, Ezra or, mm -hmm. but. Damn, man. Yeah, you have, like, a big friend group, I feel like. Yeah. And there's a ton of guys because it's kind of like how my skating was when I grew up. Like, my couple crews that I had, they all kind of, like, dwindled away and I would have to, like, find another crew and skate mm -hmm. with them. I feel like that's kind of how it was for you. Like. A little bit. I mean, like. There's still a couple that skate, though. Yeah. I mean, just life gets in the way. Yeah, of course. Right. You grow up, you get older, yeah. you know, and skating gets put on the back burner mm -hmm. for a lot of people. And I, I completely understand it for sure. But I feel like you've always kind of kept it at the forefront. No, yeah, clearly. for sure. Yeah. yeah, Matt, you've kept it at the forefront since you've been doing it. Oh, yeah. Like in more recent time, but you've been Definitely. doing it. Yeah. Wow. And then. Wait, wait, wait. Not going to lie. I, I have been feeling burnt off skating, to tell the truth. But you, you say that once a year. <laughs> you say that. 
I but, swear, every single it's like clockwork. <clears throat> Around March, April, he's like, dude, I'm burnt on skating. I'm and then it's skating. it's about to be like season to get into skating full time. When the weather gets nice, I don't get motivated for some reason. Yeah, I was gonna say. So for people that don't know, viewers at home, Julian hates hot weather. He does not like to skate when it's like above sixty degrees, but he won't skate when it's like below like like thirty five. Yeah, if it's like thirty five and like freezing, out, I'm not skating out. And he's from the islands. But like, if I'm like itching to go skate and it's that cold, I'll skate. It was like pulling teeth to get you to get out and film for 65 Connection and activate it. Shit sucked. <laughs> it was perfect days outside. He's like, I don't want to fucking skate, dude. I'm like, dude, it's literally no clouds in the sky. It's like 70 degrees. He's like, I don't fucking care. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We'll talk about that. Later, yeah, we'll but. get there. We'll get there. Um, so then, yeah, after you guys graduated, I mean, you graduated before him. You So you were out of school. You were here for about a year. You tried to go to college, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, yeah. it's a long story. Um, I graduated high school. Yeah. Went to Ivy Tech. I did a semester. I t- basically just took a semester off. Yeah. I just wasn't feeling it. And then now I'm back. But just how, doing online school. What were you thinking when you took that semester off? Like, were you like, okay, I'm just going to like focus on skating? Like, where was your focus at? My focus was at a lot of different things. A lot of it was like with media. Yeah. And stuff. Um, just kind of wanting to do my own thing, mm-hmm. and then um, also just trying to have fun. Yeah. Like I felt like school, it was kind of bringing me down a lot. I was always stressed, so I was like, "Yeah, for sure." So no, I hear you. I, I get that. I mean, you're also young at that point, so you also just want to like figure out and taste a bunch of different things and see what works. Yeah. And I talked to you about it a couple of different times because you felt like you were kind of lost, and I was like, "You know me. I'm just skateboarding first. I don't know whose phone that is." Um, yeah, no, I feel like for, for me, it's always been skateboarding first. So I've always wanted to be like, dude, you should just be skating. You should just figure out like, maybe you can build a life around skating. If you want to like do photography or film, I remember talking to you about Oh that. yeah. I mean, but it pans out different for everybody. Yeah. And I'm hyped that you moved down there. So it oh, seems it's like awesome. it's working out for you for sure. And then Julian, what was it for like for you graduating? Where, where was your focal point? Where was your direction? What were you wanting to do? Uh, were you just wanting to skate still? For me, after high school, all I wanted to do was just, like, continue to skate. I don't want to do anything else. So, like, I didn't really care about school. Like, I didn't go to my high school graduation. Oh, yeah. I just skated. You didn't walk? Yeah, I didn't walk. I didn't want to fucking were, do that. You were in Chicago, weren't you? Yeah. During your high school graduation. I took a trip to Chicago just to skate. Everyone <laughs> everyone was bugging on me, bro. That's They're true. like, where are you? I'm like, I'm not there. But you got your diploma. Yeah, I got my fucking diploma. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Of course. So you I graduated. Did. Yeah, I graduated. <laughs> 2018. No. Wow, 2018. So then at that point, yeah, you were just still skating. You were doing photo. You did photos. Like you kind of dibbled and dabbled in photos a little yeah. bit post high school. Mm-hmm. And you did that. And you took a kind of a little bit of a break. Yeah. I mean, like, when I was like 18, 19, like, I was partying a lot. Mm-hmm. So, like, all I really cared about was just skating. Yeah. And, just, like, fucking off with my friends. And how does your family feel about that? Because I know you're a big family man, and your family are, you just guys are super tight-knit. Uh, I think my family, like, I think they understand that, like, I'm, like, still trying to, like, figure out, like, what I want to do. Yeah. And shit, but. For sure. That's a part of it. Yeah, that's I feel like I was, I was on the same thing, dude. Yeah. Like, from, like, 18 to 21, I was just working and skating. I, like, literally built my schedule just around skateboarding. I worked three days a week I work three doubles and then I have four days off and I just skated cool. it was so nice so I'd make my little bit of bread my mom was like at 18 she was like you either go to school you get a job or you get the fuck out so bro like <laughs> I grew up hella privileged so like yeah. my parents would just like tell me like just do your thing right now and like you'll figure it out like, yeah but like they weren't really like hard on me I wait actually my dad was pretty hard on me. I was about to say, your dad seems yeah. like yeah, he's the guy. Yeah, my dad, <laughs> dad was definitely hard on you. He definitely wanted me to join the Navy because he was in the Navy for like 21 years. And like, he'll still like bring that up. Like, still? Yeah. He'll to be this like, day. Yeah, he'll be like, bro, like, you still got time. Like, you're still young enough, you know? 
See, but, but at that point, even if you did 20, you'd be like mid 40s at that point by yeah. being like an officer. And then like I know how it goes. My sister's almost 20 years in the Air Force. It's like you should join young, mm-hmm. like before 22 or just it's not even worth it really. I mean, I know there's people like joining when they're like in their late 20s. Yeah, for sure. Th- there's no problem with that. Like, yeah. Dude, no, nah, it's no issue with that. Serve your country if you want to. Yeah. So then, um, yeah, fast forward into Julian and I kind of starting to get a little closer and work together. So we started Minus Carmel in 2019. And uh, at first, I worked for the first year every day by myself. And then at a certain point, we kind of eased another guy in, and he worked on the weekends, Justin. And then at a certain point, we put our heads together and we started Minus Greenwood. And that was about two, two and a half years in. And uh, yeah, in 2021, we like fully got that shop built out. And then, of course, like I knew I was going to be down there trying to learn that because I didn't know that area at all at that mm-hmm. point. You know, I was like, okay, I'd been down in the street skate a handful of times when I was younger. I'd been to the park that one. I think I went to the old park that one time. The shakedown? For the shakedown, yeah. yeah. The one time. And I was like, this ground is fucking shit. This park's shit. And then they built a new one. And I was like, okay, six. So it was like a perfect opportunity to come down there, help that community grow, help that scene grow. And it just brings like central Indiana closer, you know, stronger. And then I was sitting there thinking, I'm like, okay, who's going to be like the best dude to like work and run the shop like full time? You know, I'm like, fuck, I don't know. I don't really know a lot of South Side dudes. And like I, at that point, you were going absolutely nuts on edits. You would like put an edit up, take it down same day, put another one up at nighttime. Wait, you noticed that? Oh, dude, of course. I, I was paying attention to everything. I still though. do that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> doing the dude. most, dude. Doing the most. And then so... I remember before we fully got that park built or that shop built out, we brought you in to train at Carmel Shop. Yeah, bro. That was intimidating as fuck. Well, before you started working there, you were up there for some, was it for your ex? I think she was up there doing something and you stopped in the shop. Like right before I like asked you to start working at the shop, you came in one time and that was like the first time I'd ever seen you come in there. And you were like, come in, you looked all nervous and shit. And I yeah, was like, bro. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Why is he, why is he acting like this? <laughs> How I'm acting right now? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was fine. No, you were good. You were good, bro. And then, yeah, that was the first time I'd seen you before you started working. And then we got you in there and you trained like two or three shifts before we actually opened up Greenwood Shop. And then. But, bro, I wasn't like really trained. Like, you, I was kind of just like. Ex- observing yeah you're observing yeah. i mean that's kind of what it is you know and then like i'd have you on the cash drawer mm. and like grip boards i remember the f- dude <laughs> do not talk about gripping boards bro <laughs> whoa, whoa what happened oh so bad bro no let's not talk about this. so shit for a, a minute like six months <laughs> no it's not six months <laughs> well, okay what it happened? was like three or four months so yeah, three or four months. uh there was a couple times at carmel shop he gripped a couple boards and i was like <laughs> All right, you know. Air bubbles everywhere. Oh, fuck. It was, was like, like not centered at all. I was like, we'll just let them run this. You know, we'll figure it out. I like gave you a couple pointers, a couple tips, and then we got to Greenwood Shop. And then that day, like opening day, we do we gripped up so many boards, I remember. And then Tristan was home. Tristan helped build out that shop. Shout out Tristy. Uh, I remember after he was about to leave, because he was there for that whole week. He was there, for, he was home for two weeks or maybe three weeks. And he helped one week build, and then the he was there for opening day, and then he left like a couple days after opening day. And I remember like I literally dropped him off at the airport, I think, and he was like, "Yo, Julie needs to fucking learn how to grip boards." Shit. Oh my god. He was like, "They're fucking bad." I was like, "Dude, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. He's gonna get good." He's like, "I don't know, dude. Like that's real bad." I was like, "Just give it time." <laughs> and then I remember at some point, like eight months down the line, I sent him a photo of a board that you gripped, and he was like, "Ah, yeah, yeah that was good." Yeah. <laughs> That shit forever stuck yeah. with me. Shout out Tristan, bro. Tristan's the best, he man. He helped out a lot. He's a legend. He's a fucking legend. Lawrence legend. Um, and then, yeah, Matt, you were coming in at that time, and we didn't have you We didn't have you working at the shop at all. Mm-mm. At Greenwood Shop, no? No, no. No? I didn't come in until, like, late 2022. Oh, like bro, August. it was, like, 2021. Well, we didn't start the shop until mid twenty twenty two. So yeah, you're right. I thought you were talking about like him like just coming to the shop. Coming in, yeah, yeah. for sure. You were coming yeah, yeah. in. Um so yeah, I mean 
that whole shop was an experience, you know, kind of close that chapter. That whole shop was an experience. We had a lot of long days, a lot of slow days. There were some really good days. The scene just wasn't as strong as I thought it was going to be starting off, given the fact that there was that park. And then Willard Park got built, too. But I feel like Willard Park pulled a lot of attention from Greenwood Park. You know what I mean? So then people were kind of saying mid-city. And it's kind of a drive for anyone that's not on the south mm -hmm. side. For me, I don't give a shit. I can drive wherever. You know, so I was like, oh, I live in Broad Ripple. It's a 30 minute drive every day. Like, yeah, it's all bro, good. You, Hour drive. you fucking drove every <laughs> single day to be there with me. Every day. Yeah. Every day, man. Just try to try to do what I can. Um, and then, so yeah, we, you know, took our own path at that point. And that was a hectic time, right? Because what happened at Cromwell Shop? So we had the flood happen next door. Why are you talking? Wait, you mean Greenwood, right? The, yeah, the Bali Grocery. Remember, yeah. they had the fire with their electrical oh, fire, yeah. which caused the sprinkler system to go off. And at that point, <laughs> we had drywalled. Like when you walked in Greenwood shop, we had drywalled that whole side. So we didn't go all the way to the ground. There was a space up underneath the wall that was still like, oh, it was just two shit. by fours. Yeah. There was no drywall. It was just two by yeah. fours. And so we didn't set all the shoe boxes up off of the ground. And then when that happened, I remember, <laughs> I think I was at Carmel Shop with you. No, 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 no. I was off. You were off. I was working Carmel Shop and Justin was working. Yeah. Justin calls me in full panic mode. And he's like, dude, he didn't say anything. He just flips the camera around. I just see water gushing up underneath all the shoe boxes. And I was like, I'm on my way. Closed Carmel Shop. Drove down. I got down there in like 20 minutes from Carmel. Yeah, you called me and I was with Brandon and we were just out skating. I was like, get to the shop, yeah. please. I don't I care like, if you're off, bro. Please get to the shop. Happened? That was super gnarly, and then we ended up getting everything up. We lost some shoes, but we got a lot of support in that. I feel like people yeah. people backed the shop, and you know that wasn't our fault. Um, and then that was happening. Didn't the AC or the heat go out? I think the heat went out in the winter time too at that spot in, Car in Greenwood. Yeah, it did. The heat went out. But I was chilling, bro. Oh, yeah, he man. was good. <laughs> He's like Arctic man. So the heat went out and then the flood happened at Greenwood. And then at that same time, summer hit of 2022 and the AC went out at Carmel shop. Dude, I remember that. that. So I was like dealing with getting all the HVAC issues handled, the flooding issues, all the legalities of that handled. And then Carmel shop, we didn't have AC. And so I would be at Greenwood chilling in the AC living good. These dudes were FaceTiming me. I remember Justin FaceTiming me one time, and Julian was, like, sitting at the door with the door open with the fan. <laughs> he had his head down on the edge of the workbench, and dude was dying. I remember, like, we put a fan in the showroom. Yeah. And every time, like, a customer would leave or no one else was in the shop, we would just go back there. And if there was a customer <laughs> in, one of us would stay back in the showroom to, you know, cool down. That shit was terrible. And I I was not running any sort of crazy operation, by the way. It was just the building was about to get torn down. I wasn't about to pay. And the landlord wasn't trying to pay the 10 Gs for the, for the HVAC, so I wasn't paying it either if the building was about to be gone in six months. So, unfortunately, the guys had to suffer. I mean, yeah, we actually did. Dude, you were, you were so bad yeah. all the time, bro. You were sweating. I was bomb, bro. <laughs> Skateboarders wearing jeans and beanies and hats yeah. and middle of summer yeah, 90 degrees out 90 degrees and it's so stuffy and that spot was so small oh my gosh yeah justin would be wearing like those big ass hockey beanies yeah the yeah. thick boys yeah 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 so that was tough i apologize to you guys that's okay bro. We, you know we, we figured it out <laughs> and then yeah so after we closed out that chapter you know we started working on this shop that was a whole venture. You had just moved up to the north side, yeah? Yeah, Broad and, Ripple. Yeah, you moved up to Broad Ripple. And then, Matt, you were still coming up because your family was in the middle of, of moving from Franklin Township up to Westfield, yeah? Yeah. The same weekend. <laughs> yeah. That same. was the same weekend. Yeah, yeah so at, after, like, running shoes, all that, the whole, <laughs> the whole shoe room thing. Yeah. I was here to, like, what? Oh, we'd be here till like, 12, 1. Sometimes or like you went a little bit early, but still you had like home life yeah. to deal with, and then you were helping out with the shop, not getting paid, or but you know, no, nah. <laughs> and so I would I went from the shop down to my friend Garrett's house because I didn't have anything in my room, mm -hmm. like everything was packed up. I got back to like his house. I got four in the morning. Mm -hmm. I had to be uh, back at my house at six to get everything loaded into the truck. Unreal. Dude, that whole weekend was just... Hectic. 
So I can't remember, did we have you in helping out with any of the cosmetics of the shop at all? Yeah. Like the week before we actually like no. moved in, moved in? No. Uh, no, no. Like he wasn't putting any of the flooring down. He wasn't oh, painting no, 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 no electrical. Was, bro, no, no. That. that was insane. You. That was just you. Yeah. I was just yeah, holding yeah. down. That's Carmel true. shop with that's, Justin. That's true. Yeah, because at that time we had already shut Greenwood shop down. And so we had Carmel shop. You and Justin were holding that down. And I just was like, here, I remember. Yeah. I, 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 Dude, you're going crazy here. I know. <laughs> yeah, I was like trying to maintain that shop with you guys mm -hmm. too. And then like close that out. So that was like, I was dealing with so much all at once. Yeah, I'd never really done like full GC work. But yeah, I laid the floor down. We painted it. I mean, it's, I don't know if people know, but like this used to be an old computer store. So, yeah, we had to paint the walls, put new lighting in, had to put new floor in, ripped up all the carpet, had to get the smell out of here. We had to put a couple of slabs of drywall up. Like, it was, a, it was a whole mission. And then I remember when you came in for the first time and, like, I remember I was putting the glue down and then the slabs. Yeah, bro. And we were just, like, slipping and just sticking. I, oh, it was horrible. All I was so glue. bummed. Yeah, yeah. I was so bummed because, yeah. like, I was, like, wearing some brand new shoes I brought. <laughs> I bought from Carmel Shop. <laughs> And like I didn't want to go back home because like I felt bad. Yeah, that I need to help you out. Oh, dude. I was like, fuck it. You know what? I know. I mean, we had to make it work though. Yeah. We got it handled, and I was super hyped with the with the turnout. And then opening day was really cool. You know, I felt you were here for opening day. Yeah, I was. Yeah. You were here majority of the day. I was here all day. Yeah, you're all day. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I remember it was like we had a good amount of people come out and support, and I felt like. You know, it was received really well, and I felt like we kind of started something really, really good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, I do not remember opening day. You don't? No, because we were still up. I know. I was yeah. 38 hours. That was yeah. the longest I've ever been up. 38 hours. Well, oh, I yeah. didn't. You didn't sleep, did you? No. I, I felt so delusional. <laughs> Dude, everybody, I let everybody else go home and sleep. I literally stayed up. At that point, I'd, like, gotten the floor down. The floor was still sticky. I didn't have all the area rugs in yet. We got all the display cases in, and then... I think I hadn't, none of the racks were up yet. Like, I didn't have anything done. I remember by the time we opened, I still didn't have the hat rack up. Yeah. I remember me, Brandon. I yeah. yeah. And then we didn't even have everything in the system yet. So we were just ringing up stuff. Yeah, it was not as prepared as the first two shops, but we got it. We figured it out. It was good, bro. It was good. It was, yeah, it was good. It was smooth, man. It was a fun day. Yeah. And then, so yeah, you were working full time at that point. Mm-hmm. And then I was still in here every day. Um, and then we immediately like started working on Activated. At that point, you were still working a lot. And you kind of you were in like a slump of not wanting to skate. Oh, so you were just like work mode, paranoid that the shop wasn't doing well. So you were just like. I think I was like so tapped in. Yeah, you were. To the shop that like skating was like the last thing to be on my mind. And I was constantly watching skate videos. Yeah. Like, uh -huh. For like eight hours a day. <laughs> It's just crazy to see, though. And then, like, going on Instagram, skating, skating. like You just get burnt. Yeah, I just got really burnt. Yeah, but, like, it's it's normal to get burnt. Yeah. I feel like you're exposed to it all the time. I mean, there's days where I literally won't even turn the TV on. I need just to not be looking at skateboarding, I feel like, you know. And then, yeah, you were working. We kind of had you sprinkled out throughout the time because I was still, like, covering days. But at one point, we had you in here. We had Brandon in here for a little bit. Yeah. You guys were working Sundays together. Um and how long? That was like, like I was what? working. You were working like two days. Yeah, I was working Saturdays and Sundays. Saturdays and Sundays. I had you working weekends for there for a little bit. Yeah. And then it just got to a point where I was like, man, at this point, like I really want to be able to like have all these guys here, but it just makes more sense for it to be Julian and I right now. And then you were also at that point like in and out of the situation of school. Yeah. You know, and yeah. then so I was that like, dude, whole school thing. Yeah, you were trying to figure out what you wanted to do, yeah. but I feel like we knew what we were wanting to do at this point. Like we kind of set our minds on having this shit work no matter what. And oh yeah, yeah, man, I'm hyped that you guys were here. How long for the ride? Thanks, bro. <laughs> yeah. So wait, wait, what do you got in the book? What's what's the red yeah. book about? I'm confused. Oh, because I didn't know what questions you were gonna ask me. I thought you were gonna ask me like some basic ass questions. I mean, those were. I feel like we just kind of you know went over like. Yeah, we just won't. Yeah. Go through the book. Yeah, I want to see. All right. First podcast. <laughs> Born in Yokosuka, Japan. I was only there for like three months. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was going to get into like the Philippines. You're Filipino. Yeah. You know Filipino. I mean? Full Filipino. Your last name is DeRosas. Confused me actually before uh, I like knew you knew because I thought you were Hispanic. But my like, bro looks fucking Asian. Asian as fuck. <laughs> but what's up with DeRosas? I think. 
I don't know. I, I from what I heard, I heard like the Philippines was um, conquered by the Spanish for a while. Okay. And then I probably should know this, but <laughs> I don't. I don't fucking know, bro. Like it's it's an Asian country. Yeah, yeah, but but you were but you were born in Japan because your dad was in the military. Yes. Maybe. You were you were never ever in the Philippines. No, I have never went. So besides Japan, where else did you live? So when I was a baby, three months old, after three months went to LA and then flew to Chicago where my mom's side of the family lives. How long were you in LA? Or was it just like, just for that time? Yeah, out to- just for that time. For okay. a little bit. And then Chicago, I would say for like a couple of years because my older sisters were going to school Yeah, in Chicago. Okay. And then for some reason they wanted to live here. They just move. I mean, it just makes yeah. sense. You know what I mean? Greenwood, Indiana. Yeah, cheap, cheap living at the time. Like <laughs> so at, at at that time, was there a influx in immigrants coming to Central Indiana for the most part? Is that why your family came here, or was that not really like a, a factor for you guys? Um, I don't think so. Like when we moved here, like. I remember my mom, like, having quite a bit of Filipino friends, but, like, I didn't, I didn't really see a lot of Filipinos out here. That's wild. Yeah. I feel like there's more now. Yeah, I grew up For as sure. a white boy. You told me you were the, your family yeah. calls you the white boy. Yeah, they call me the white boy of the family because, like, especially, like, my mom's and dad's <laughs> side, like, they say I do not have, like, a Filipino accent at all. No, hell no. I yeah. asked you to speak some shit to me. You never, you never gave me a full sentence, dog. No, nah, bro, like. I can't speak any Tagalog. That's <laughs> that's the language. And then Tagalog, there's like yeah. Bisaya. That's like another like dialect or whatever. And your parents are fully fluent. Yeah. 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 So like when they're like talking shit to me, like I can like understand a little bit. Yeah. Because I know like they're fucking mad. But like <laughs> I can't like have like a full on conversation with them. Oh my God. Yeah, bro. Dude, that is wild. I wish I like knew that though. Like I'll probably start learning though. Know? I mean, you should. Yeah, I but should. I feel like if you're gonna start learning, you probably would already done it in your mid twenties now. Yeah, I feel like it's old too, man. Too late already. That's crazy. Yeah. And then Matt, you were born and raised in central Indianapolis, or oh yeah, you? anywhere else? Did you guys ever? Your family ever travel? Is there? Is your family from anywhere else though? Uh, like you have other family in any other zones or states or? No. Everybody's here. Yeah. Wow. That's wild. Yeah. I thought you had I, family somewhere else. In Florida. I have like a extended, or no, not extended uncle. Uh, my mom's uncle lives in Gainesville. But that's not someone that you're close with to where it even like correlates to your current life and family. Yeah, I mean, I'm close. Like I talk to him sometimes. Oh, okay. Have but you visited him since you've been living out there? Or no? no, no, not yet. Okay. But I have like some family that has like houses down in Florida for like the winter and stuff. Like, uh, what do they call them? Winter birds? Snowbirds. Snowbirds. Yeah. I said winter birds. Snow, snowbirds. The snowbirds. Oh, Never so heard of it? No. It's like, you know, Florida's like a retirement home. Yeah. People come down here like for the winter. And- oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They go down there for like three months down, yeah. south. down south. So then what kind of inspired you and cracked you to go to to go to go Florida? Fast forward. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> it's, a, it's a long story. Start uh, from the beginning. All right. We were, uh, it was me, my friend Aiden, and our friend Tristan, we were just playing video games one night. We all just wanted to hang out with each other. Yeah. But like he was down in Orlando, Aiden was in Chicago, and I was here. So we were all doing like our own thing. And so like we we're just like, all right, yeah, I'm going back. I'll be going back to school because that was like the whole thing. Yeah. Like I go down there, I'm going back to school. Uh, after like a year, I get Florida residency, so then I can transfer to like school in florida get in-state tuition all that yeah it'll be perfect and then disney uh like reimburses you for tuition so get a job Ah. there get free school remember you said that yeah yeah and so um we're like yeah let's do it and so we just moved down there um it made sense we had our friend garrett come along too because he found a school and there was there's one in phoenix and there's one in arizona or no, there's one. Yeah, one in Phoenix and one in Florida. Okay. And he was like, "Yeah, I, I want to go to the school." 
and just so happened to be one in Orlando. It's like wow. UTI Motorcycle Mechanic Institute. Institute. So he's it's like, like another trade school. Yeah, pretty much mechanic. Okay. Damn. So then it's you, Garrett, and Aiden living yeah. together right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this sounds so crazy. I know you just skate house, but like everybody's at least responsible. So I know what Garrett does. What's Aiden doing? Aiden's basically doing the same thing as me. Okay. Yeah. Um, he's at Valencia now, which is like the community or like junior college down okay. in Orlando. So for people that don't know, Aiden is Ethan. I mean, you kind of oh kind yeah, explain that. Yeah. Shout um, out Ebob. Ebob forever. Yeah. Yeah. Ebob for life. Uh, yeah. Aiden is Ethan's younger brother. Uh, I grew up with him. I've I remember we had the same kindergarten teacher, same first grade, third grade, like fifth grade, and then we just middle school, all that. We just stayed connected. That's sick. Yeah. Wow. And so you guys have been friends for forever, and you grew up around Ethan, and yeah, it's all that whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing, yeah. dude. So you guys are you guys are loving it. You're, you're Florida boy. Florida jits. You gonna you gonna stay? Yeah, that's like a final. Because last I'm, time I talked to you, you were like, I don't know, man. Like, dude, I'm you know, getting burnt. Eventually, burnt. Dude, I love Florida. This was like around October when Matt was FaceTiming me. Oh, dude, that was like my first two months down there. Yeah, I know, but I just had to say that. Julian's pissed and wants Matt to move back. Yeah, <laughs> he didn't even want him to go in the fucking first no, place. So. I tried convincing Matt so many times. <laughs> Bro, why are here. you going? I know. What's the point? I know. I know. See, but I I backed it. And I feel like for me, I, I moved to LA at 22 and, and lived in Chicago for a very short stint of time. And like, like I told you, I feel like it's important to go out and oh yeah, 100 see other stuff. It helps you grow, you know. Like you need, growing up, skateboarding and traveling and like seeing different things, even if it's in your city, it like exposes you, and it puts you in a different like mindset. Yeah, of you want to see more things. You like you want to see a different way of, of life. Yeah. For sure. Like it's totally different down there. I was gonna say, is it different for you? Like what's the craziest like thing you've had to recalibrate to from being there to here? The weather. Well yeah, of course. Yeah. The weather. <laughs> Main factor. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't I don't wear the only time I ever wear hoodies was like when it was like sixty degrees out. Bro it was freezing today. I had to give him my coat. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was so cold. I stepped off the plane, I was like, I Take me back. First Snapchat was like, it said 36 degrees. What the fuck is this, dude? I thought it was going to be warm. Nobody told me it was cold. I'm like, <laughs> dude, I, yeah. I was like, yeah, it's going to be like, it's March. It's end of March. I, I thought like, oh, it's going to be like. No, bro. The, it's the same uh, shit every year. I, I thought it was going to be in like the 50s or something. You've lived yeah. here for 20, <laughs> 19 years. <laughs> bro, I don't know. I was like, oh, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. So what did you bring? Did you just bring a crew neck? Did you bring anything else? Just a crew I got neck. a hoodie too. You got one hood? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, at least you got a little something. Yeah. I was like, oh, a hoodie would be good. You brought shorts? Gym shorts for like. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. you brought like outside shorts, like skate shorts, no. some shorts like, or something. Gym crazy. shorts for what? Sleeping. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, you sleep in gym shorts? <laughs> this is their relationship. This is literally yeah. their relationship. Oh, okay. I just right. talk shit. <laughs> I was like, just wondering, like, why the fuck are you wearing gym shorts, bro? Oh my god, Julian, what else? What do you, what else you got in that book for me? Oh, uh, okay. I'm curious. <laughs> I'm curious. Like, I, I didn't I even look at it before. I didn't look. Thing. There's a lot we can talk about. Oh, like moving to like, so like I I went to Whiteland, Whiteland schools. If you know Whiteland, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's like uh, by Bargersville, yeah, yeah, kind of like by Bargersville, like a little bit past Greenwood. I think like further south. Like. It's in in between. It's in between like Franklin or like Franklin's right yeah. in that kind of zone too. Yeah, like I'm, Franklin's I'm like shortly after. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Went to Whiteland. So at that point, had you picked up skateboards yet? Yeah. So you were skating down there. Yeah. There wasn't shit. Were you street skating or were you just like element rail in the fucking parking garage or like driveway? Pretty much. And then like my first skate park, I went to Franklin Skate Park. Mm. If you remember Franklin Skate I do, Park. dude. Yeah, I was going man. to Franklin Park in 2012 and 13 a lot. I don't know why. I think I was just burning all the parks up here, and there was, like, no new parks yet at that point. Mm -hmm. Like, there was no hunger. Mm -hmm. So I was like, ah, Franklin, good mini ramp. It's all prefab, and I can't stand it Yeah, it's personally. all metal, too. Yeah, yeah. Shit hurts when you fall in midsummer. Like, the concrete's oh, perfect, though. It'll burn your yeah. skin. Oh, for sure. Yeah, the concrete's perfect, and the ledge there, the tall ledge, reminded me of LP ledge. So when our ledge, the angle iron got taken off, 
I wanted to go to Franklin Park because it was like a taller version of the LP ledge. You would just go there for that. <laughs> for the ledge, for the hip, and not the curved side, but just the regular side of the ledge. Mm. I don't know. I just really? fucking, I'm weird. I mean, I go to Fortville, so oh, yeah. I can't fucking I say so. shit, dude. I go to the most plain park ever, and it's the best one. I still love Fortville. <laughs> I've never been. Yeah. I haven't been. Oh, we got to go. If, right. we, if we get time, we got to go walk yeah. home for sure. Yeah. That's the best park ever. I took uh, the homie Eli recently. I took Justin back in the day too, and everyone that goes there, like, yeah, that's the park. I, I try to meet Joe there like once a year, and he's like, ah, it's just mid, whatever. I grew up, it's sh- yeah, shit, dude. The, the, <laughs> the bench there is perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. You said you did buckle it? No, like my birthday. Oh yeah, yeah. It's oh, not the same I was there. I yeah, you. Yeah. We were about to go out and film. Oh yeah, I was there too. Uh, yeah well uh is there any other like brief overviews in that that you had uh, let's see <laughs> oh we could talk about my first skateboard what was that it was a enjoy board i think it was a louis oh. barletta board what's the hey. width huh it's a good one what, what was the width on it Seven seven five seven five. i eight. think it was like seven seven five or eight classic what were the wheels you know the specs Wait, hold on. The specs. Wheel, what's the wheelbase? It was Bones wheels. I just remember it, like everything was purple. <laughs> everything was purple? Purple Thunders. Uh, I think it was Jess Up or Grizzly Grip, but I don't remember. I think Grizzly, you were the Grizzly era. Yeah, I was That wasn't like, around when I started skating. Yeah, like, <laughs> Matt, uh, what was your first? Oh, go ahead. No, finish. Diamond Hardware. Diamond Hardware. <laughs> you had like you had like the mm. California like that era of skateboarding yeah, set up for and sure. I think the graphic of the like the purple and joy board, like I don't know if it was like two pandas, but like later later down the line I like thought about it. I was like, dude, I think those pandas were like potentially like hum- okay. like yeah, literally yeah. humping each other. Yeah, 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 they for sure were. Yeah. Most definitely. And then what was your first setup? Do you remember? Uh, your first, like, not like the little kid. Uh, no, I mean, first real setup. Yeah. Uh, I don't know Walmart Target shit. It was a Plan B board. Red Thunder Trucks. <sighs> Jesus Christ, okay. Uh, Bones Wheels. They were like the black and red Bones Wheels. That's a crazy setup. Already. And then... What was the color of the grip? Like Grizzly Grip. Oh, okay. Just yeah. plain? Mini Bear or Big Bear? No, or did it say grizzly? Yeah. It, no, it was a grizzly yeah, across grizzly. the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, it was a gri- grizzly across the whole thing. Incredible! I never skated a sheet of grizzly ever because I fucking couldn't. The second I saw that come out, I was like, Tory Pudwell sick, but fuck no. What? I was about to say you don't fuck with Tory Pudwell. <laughs> I love, love Big Bang was like 2010. Yeah, I was man. like 17, 18 that came out. I was like, that was a mind blowing part. But I was like, dude, no. no. After that Mob. board, I was done. No more grizzly. Yeah, that's good. I mean, Grizzly's cool though. Like, I yeah. get it. It's like a good company. You know what I mean? They they have a good I just didn't market like the grip. that they hit. Yeah, I like how grippy it is, and I like that it's perforated. I don't like how thick it is. Yeah, yeah, I never it really is like pretty how thick. thick. It was. Yeah, it's super thick. Even when we like lay it on boards now, I'm like still having after I've gripped it and sanded it down. I'm still having to like pat around the side mm-hmm. of people's boards to get it to actually like lay. It's still thick. Yeah, it's super thick. Yeah, yeah, super thick. Well, dudes, thank you guys for coming on. Yeah, for sure. Super hyped. Thank you. Thank, yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, man. I'm glad you got to fly back in, be here. I know you're kind of tapped out with this whole trip. How how many days are you here? I'm here till Sunday. Okay, so you got a couple more days. Yeah. And then so you got a wedding this weekend. Any other plans while you're home? Uh, Yeah, it's my dad's birthday, so. Oh, yeah, it is. Shout what out to Pops. Uh, it's Friday. Your dad's sick. I was yeah. just telling you earlier before it came, like before we started, um, he came in and got the zine, and we got to talk about that real fast. He came in and yeah. got a zine, like paid full price, and he was like, no, I don't want any change back. Like, just keep the change. Like, I love what you're doing. I love that you gave Matt an opportunity to, like, do the magazine. Like, hell, and he's so genuine. Like, oh, yeah. I just wanted to give him a hug, but I was like, ah. <laughs> no, dude, my dad's awesome. He's sick. So, yeah, and tapping into that real fast, so the opportunity to do that. Yeah. Uh, the you mag- both photos. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you took some photos, too, in Cruise. That was like a iPhone shit. My shit wasn't. I don't know technology. <laughs> Analog, but like they were still good. Analog, they were still good though. <laughs> yeah. They were composed, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. So yeah, explain that process. Yeah, um, a magazine's always been something that I've wanted to do for a while. Yep. And I was like, I just caught myself taking a lot of photos while we were out skating. I was like, fuck it, 
let's just make a zine. Yeah. I brought it to you. I was like, yo, like, what do you think about this? Because I know you've done zines in the past before the 2021 or 2021, the push. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, that was something that we had done for the push for all the protests and everything that was going on in 2020. Um, And then, like, a lot of the other dudes for video projects that I was involved in, they had done zines too. So, I kind of saw how, like, the process worked. But, I mean, as far as, like, being hands-on, I've never really been, like, fully hands-on outside of, like, images and stuff. So, I mean, I wanted you to have, like, full creative control over that because I felt like you have the knowledge. Yeah, I was, like, I just started getting filmed back. I was like, oh, wow. Like, I like a lot of these pictures. I like how they came out. Yeah. Let me put some... Because I was going to do a zine. I was going to try and do a zine no matter what this year. Yeah. Or at least like 2023, 2024. Right. And I was like, let me do one for the shop. I I had a lot of pictures. Mm-hmm. Um, I like... During, even when we were <clears throat> filming for the shop, I was like taking pictures because I got that new film camera yeah, over yeah. the summer so i was like super hyped on that shout out emery robert's camera facts yeah man robert's cameras all those guys over there best place holding it down but yeah you were taking photos on the sessions and like warm-ups and then like in between tries and stuff like that and you were too because you'd kind of you were out of it for a little bit but then as like you were kind of still in the shop you were starting to take photos again mm-hmm. which was sick and you had your point and shoots and stuff like that so between you both taking Photos. I took some photos. Who else took photos? I can't I remember. Think Cruz. I think, I, I think Cruz, Cruz got a yeah. iPhone photos. Yeah. yeah, but then you fully curated it. Like, yeah, made it. Yeah, once I got down to Florida, it was Julian just sending me pictures. And bro, it was so annoying because like I would like try to like send him a text like, dude, let me see how it is. And he's like, no, nah, bro, it's not ready yet. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I was, I'd be like, he's in the lab, bro. Yeah. He's in the yeah. But I just wanted, like wanted to see the process. I was no, just, for sure. And I'd call you and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But once, like, like the name was set and everything with 65 Connection, yeah. it was, like, because we had different names and stuff for the magazine and the video and stuff. Right. But once it was 65 Connection, that's when it was, like, all right, photo mag, 65 Connection, boom, 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 yeah. done. I wish we could have got the magazine out closer to the video, but I feel like it still ended up working. You yeah, know what I mean, like it was just we, the way how timing worked, dude. Yeah, I Matt yeah. fucked up. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> just fucked up. So, whoa, 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 whoa. But yeah, I mean, I'm glad you did it. Thank you. Yeah, again, no. man. Yeah, so I think it turned out well. What? Oh, give me some. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys, man. I'm, thank you. I'm hyped you guys came on. Is there any other last little things that you guys wanted to nitpick? What's, oh, what's in the red book? <laughs> And he's very detailed, so Bro, a lot of this is like detailed. Look detailed. How, how many names I wrote down. There's a lot of names I was going to like mention. Shout them out, dude. Shout them out. Fuck. Do it. Just do it. People, ins- inspiration, past, press, present, future. Shout out Esten, Colin, Noah, Tyler, Cameron, Ezra, Alex, CJ, Chase Summit, CJ, and Chase RIP. Uh, yeah, Hector Medina, things. David Johnson, Tyler Johnson. Uh, I think that's about it. The rest of it just like people that kind of like kind of got on my nerves, but whatever. Shout them out. I'm just playing. Don't I'm do that. Answer, I'm <laughs> just, out, <laughs> oh yeah, we got a bad yeah. list. We got a long list There's of a, a bad list. list. We we could go but on for probably. If you want to actually read this, like just ask me, bro. Like yeah, he'll he'll just DM him. He'll send you photos yeah. of the, the good and the bad. You got any shout outs? Mm-hmm. Bro, your parents, bro. Yeah, your parents are the fucking best. Yeah, my mom, out. my your dad. mom is sick. Your dad is so sick. Your sister's sick. Oh, I love my sister. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, dude, I love that. Anybody wait, wait, else? wait, wait, wait! Shout out my family too. I love my family. Yeah, 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 yeah. of course, uh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Aiden. Yeah, Garrett. Yes. The whole Williams family. Shout out Verse. Back. Shout out everyone yeah. behind the scenes right now. Yeah, 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 yeah gang. It's crazy, bro. This is like a full on production yeah production yeah man these guys aren't playing around they know I'm what like they're still doing. sweating my ass off <laughs> wearing the beanie it's like yeah, you're in caramel shop again exactly oh and last thing uh your dad i remember the first time he ever came in minus green when i was working dude scared the shit out of me oh <laughs> your mom walks in she's like Aaron, hi your sisters are like hey and your dad just walks in stone face as fuck <laughs> just looking around <laughs> and then he walks over and he hits the he hits the clothing rack and he like falls back all dramatic and i was like 
And he was like, ah. I was like, this <laughs> didn't say a word, yeah, bro. Yeah. He, he's like, ah. Best dude. My dad's so fried. I he, love him. He's hilarious. Yeah. And Harley guy, too. Yeah, he's a Harley guy. He wants me to get a bike. And yeah, start so riding with him. I've seen that. Bro, it's like. Hopefully. You should, dude. It's fun. Riding bikes is sick. You just got to be careful. Wear a helmet. Yeah. Helmet. 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 Um, and so, yeah. Um, any advice? This is going to be different for you. I'm going to switch it up. Any advice for you that you would tell your younger self of experiences or things or knowledge that you have acquired now and for the youth and the community and people that may look to you or pay attention to what you do? Don't even be weird about it. Any of the, Anything. Any sort of advice? Uh i don't know like it can be simple it doesn't have to be anything super perfect i don't want to say like the corny like just keep skating bro no i don't i mean whatever you feel like what would you have done differently like when you were younger i think i definitely would have asked more questions about skating yeah i would kind of just assume like what's cool what's not cool i mean skating is subjective so like right i was pushing mongo for a while Shout out Chris Chunky, but he like called me out at Franklin Skate Park for pushing Mongo, and like I cried that night. Not gonna lie, bro. But I, it, but you don't skate Mongo yeah, anymore. I don't, but I have a great switch push now. But, like, <laughs> other than that, like Hell yeah, I don't know, bro. Like I think just like ask. Like it's there's no such thing as a stupid question. And I, and I feel like that's really tough. Like me dealing with hands on with the youth nowadays is they will ask. They don't ask questions about skating. They ask questions about like life, and I love to be able to help them. But I'm still growing and learning myself. But, but that's crazy. Kids are asking you that type of shit. oh, dude, DMs every week. It's it's cool. Like I love it because either they're like, "Yo, I'm inspired," or like, "Yo, I have a question about this," which is really cool. But like, if they ask more questions about skating, I'd be like, "Boom!" I would have all the. I know. I feel like I know skating like the back of my fucking hand. Like mo- majority of it, right. you know what I mean? Right. In my opinion. Um, but yeah, man, for sure, that's a that's a good answer. But, like, I don't know if that's, like, a valid answer. Like, of course. It's an opinion. It's I mean, all it's opinion, just an opinion yeah. Asking questions. Just asking questions. I mean. Actually, keep skating. Don't <laughs> don't be like me, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, keep skating so ask back questions. And forth. He is always I'm so back I'm so and back and forth with skating. Like, it sucks. But that's I think thing. I'm bipolar, honestly. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> I definitely have, like, OCD from working at the shop, though. Bro got paranoid. Yeah, hella paranoid. Yeah, got, I can't you got remember, paranoid. But yeah. yeah, you got paranoid for certain reasons. Matt, um, so I would say what you would ask your or tell your younger self, but what do you think as far as like what you've developed as far as um how do I ask this? As far as personality characteristics and things that you've built along the most recent years of you becoming an adult mm-hmm. and living on your own. How do you feel like these are going to carry you into the future years, like your very critical years in your 20s? Like, what are you taking from right now, what you're going through and what you're learning to incorporate into your future? Yeah, like, what are the most important points? That's so deep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I Damn. got his ass. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't asked oh. that one, bro. And then what would oh. you tell your younger self as far as skating goes? <laughs> so you can start with the easy one if you want to, but if you just want to get the hard one out of the way, run that. Uh. Let's just do the hard one. Okay. Um, just keep going. I mean, like, I feel like that's what I'm learning is, like, don't give up so easily. Yeah. I mean, like, one minor inconvenience, don't flip out or Bro. stress over it. Sorry. One little thing. All right, it was in the past, whatever. Yeah. Just keep going. Because you know that that's going to continue to happen. And yeah. the further along you get in whatever path you take, it's going to compound. And it's not going to get any easier. Yeah, I feel like all like everything that I'm learning right now, I know is going to help me in the future. Right. I like I'm very, I guess, self aware. Yeah. Of like what's what I'm doing and what's going on around me. So do you are you a type of person that takes it day by day or are you like thinking about you have your future planned out, you know, year by year, six months, eight months? I mean, I kinda like a little bit of both. Yeah. I'm like the same way. I have my future planned out and stuff. I have like Oh, I want to go into this career, this and all that. Yeah. But like, shoot, I don't know what I'm going to be doing in two years. I could be back here. 
could still be in Florida. Right. Nice. Yeah, come back home. <laughs> Dude, what's, he wants him back home so Bro, bad. After this weather, no. Yeah, I well, always not. flip out on the littlest things, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to. Yeah. But also, you kind of continue to keep going, and that's, like, the most important thing, and that's yeah. what he said. But, so. like, I'll still be thinking about it, like, months later. I'll be like, why the fuck did I? Of course, dude. Yeah. I think about shit from two two years ago. I think about how things were a year ago, and they're not the same way, but you have to continue to keep going, you know? So that's good. To add on to that. Yes. Don't care what people think. Yeah. Do you. Yeah. Be yourself. Don't let anyone try and influence you into one path or the other. Yeah. Just be yourself. If you think this is the path for you, do that. If you think this other path is for you, do that. Yeah. Just be yourself. I love that. And then um, that's good advice. That's good advice. What do you think about uh, telling your younger self as far as skating goes for you specifically? Like what would you tell yourself in fifth grade when you picked up a skateboard? Stay with it. I knew that was going to be the answer. Yeah. <laughs> why? Wait, why, why stay with it? Because he quit. Yeah, when I got in like fifth grade, I was always so like on and off. With what? Skateboarding. Sports and stuff. He's doing other yeah. things. Which sports? Basketball, baseball, track. All right, why are you looking at me like Cross that? Cross country. Because we, I was just we've, had, bro. we've had this conversation so uh, many times. But the viewer doesn't know. <laughs> okay, yeah. 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 Well, that's All good. Right. I like that, man. I like your guys' answers. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Well, thank you guys for coming on. Thank you. Super hyped. That was fun. This was a long time coming. I'm glad we yeah. were able to get you while you're in town. Julian, you already know this was coming. Yeah, bro. I fucking dreaded this moment. Man. That's good. You did You did really well. Thank you. Um, so throw out your IG handle, any sort of social media that you guys would be like to be exposed on. You know, you got some shit cooking. You got shit cooking outside of your personal IGs. So what are we uh, working with? Mayday Matt, my main. Macaroni Time, my film. And then only IG. Yeah, okay. IG. Uh, it's macaroni dot underscore dot time. And then only photos is my other one. It's a little collective one that me, Julian, and a couple other guys have been okay, working I on. I saw that. Yeah. I was like, who is this? I didn't yeah. even look yeah, at it. Yeah, we just like post like random stuff. Okay. That's photos, so you guys like our art, yeah. anything that we have been like working on, I guess. It's only photos, like spelled correctly or no. not? No, no, no. It's F U, like, photos. like pho. Like you're about to eat pho. Okay. But, T O S? Like, yes. Okay. What about your uh, handles? Fui Wi Fi. F W E E I F I. That's so funny hearing you say it in person. I've never heard you say it yeah, in person. Right. I've free seen wi -Fi. it forever. Uh, free Wi Fi. If you want to find my personal, go for it. But I'm not going to say my personal. I hear you. Because it's out there. Just go to the shop. Yeah. Look up like any of, like, of me tagged in photos, but I don't really care about my personal. Yeah, my personal sucks, bro. Sick. Thank you guys, man. Thank you. Sick. Uh, yeah, I'm your host, Aaron Vaughn. Uh, Verse Skateboard Shop. Smash that follow button. Um, this is going to go on YouTube, so you'll already be here. And uh, yeah, my personal is Aaron underscore Vaughn. And yeah, this is episode four. Julian, Matt, Yo. thank you guys. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate y'all. It was a blast. Yeah, man. I'll see y'all next time. For sure.